Kentuckians are now fighting back against a new requirement to work or volunteer to qualify for Medicaid. Uh, Nine on your side's Brianna Malloy explains why a new lawsuit has gathered national attention. Well, news outlets around the whole country are keeping an eye on this lawsuit. That's because whatever happens in that courtroom could set precedent for the entire country. Kentucky is the first state to require a work requirement for Medicaid recipients. And now, attorney Kara Stewart from Kentucky Justice Center is the first to challenge it. So I definitely feel like we're representing people, low-income people all across the country at the same time. And watching anxiously from the sidelines are Medicaid recipients like Pauline Creech. I just don't know where, what to do and where to go with it. Creech doesn't qualify for the program's automatic exemptions. She's currently battling leukemia and is worried she won't be able to keep up with the program's requirements. The one medicine I was on was $2,985.19 a month was my first chemo medicine. There would be no way I can afford that. But the lawsuit is challenging those work requirements, saying the Trump administration doesn't have the authority to change Kentucky's Medicaid laws. This secretary has approved an experiment that does not promote the Medicaid Act. But Governor Bevin says the work requirement is legal. In a comment, he stated that Kentucky now has an opportunity to prove to our citizens and to those in other states that the waiver will work, and that all of Kentucky and America will be better for it. And America is watching. At least 10 states have applied to add work requirements and others have expressed interest. The court will set precedent for Medicaid recipients across the country and help determine what's in the cards for Pauline Creech, too. It's the most important thing to me right now. It really is. And the court date could still be a long way off. The next step is to appoint a judge and then decide whether this is a class action case. Brianna Malloy, nine on your side. Well, Governor Bevin signed an executive order last week stating that he would repeal the Medicaid expansion if the work requirement is overturned. About 40,000 Kentuckians are covered under that expansion.